Hey guys, Yuvraj here from the Brainstorm Force team, makers of the Astra theme for WordPress. And quick question for you, how much time do you think I spent to create this simple looking page, but beautiful looking page on my website? I'll just give you a quick demo on how the page looks like and give you a couple of seconds to take a guess. One, two, three, time's up. So I spent less than 30 seconds to create this entire page on my website. Yes, the answer is completely right, or I'm not uh, exaggerating exactly less than 30 seconds. And this is what the video is about, right? Pattern library, which is a brand new feature in WordPress 5.8, which lets you do these kind of things very quickly and easily. So if you are interested in creating beautiful looking pages quickly, faster, and without any design skills, then this is the perfect video for you. So just to give you an idea what the pattern or the block, uh, say pattern library is about, Pattern library is a brand new feature in WordPress, or I'd say it's a new kind of library that they've introduced. For example, if you're familiar with WordPress, you might know that WordPress has a library, or I'd say they have a section where they have themes. For example, you can see it right here. They have a theme section. We also have a plugin section, which are which have been around with WordPress for a long time, but the pattern library is very new to WordPress. It's uh, just introduced in WordPress 5.8. We covered it in the WordPress 5.8 video, also in the news video, which we do weekly. And if you're interested in weekly WordPress updates, make sure you subscribe every Monday evening, probably based on your time zone. We do a weekly update about what's happening in the WordPress ecosystem. And we talk about these kind of updates that are happening around the WordPress ecosystem. So you will be updated on what is the best practices, what are new updates in the WordPress ecosystem. All right. Coming to this page, this is the pattern library, and this is these are all patterns that you can start utilizing on your website instantly. I'm gonna show you how in a second, but just to clarify before I get started, the pattern library is only compatible with the Gutenberg or the block editor, which is the default editor in WordPress. Now, if you're not familiar with the Gutenberg or the block editor, just let me give you a demonstration of how it looks like. This is the inside of how you create a page inside your WordPress uh, dashboard. And this is actually called the Gutenberg or the block editor. If you're not familiar, this is the default editor in WordPress. You also have page builders, but the block library, which you see right here, is not compatible with page builders, only with the Gutenberg or the block editor. So if you're using this editor, this will be one of the best solutions uh, to create beautiful looking pages quickly. And on that note, if you are creating a new website, you are looking to find easy ways to create a website, I would highly recommend that you also check out one of our products, which is called Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg. And what this does is it adds a bunch of new features, a bunch of new blocks to your Gutenberg editor, which will make your job much easier and faster. It has a bunch of blocks built in. For example, I'll just give you a quick demonstration on, you have the star rating blocks, you have the advanced column blocks, you have the call to action block, and all these other blocks that you can utilize on your website for free. Yes, that's right. This plugin entirety is completely free, of course. There's no charge. And if you're using the Astra theme, which we make and we highly recommend, then it will be very easy for you to use this plugin as well. Just go into your dashboard, go into appearance, go to Astra options, and just go here, ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg. Just make sure that it's activated and you'll have all the beautiful blocks inside or from UAG to use on your website as well. So enough plugging in our products. Let's start with the demonstration of how the block pattern directory works and how you can start using it. So this is the uh, pattern library, as I mentioned. Uh, it's very simple in terms of what uh, or how to navigate it. Uh, it's just a simple way, or I say, simply uh, divide into multiple columns. You have different kind of blocks, but you have certain ways to filter out or search certain content or certain patterns. You have a search option, you have favorites. If it, it's available only if you're logged in, for example, I'm logged in right here. So I can see favorites, and if you're not logged in, you won't be able to favorite certain blocks. So I would highly recommend uh, if you're navigating the pattern library, make sure that you're logged in and save uh, your favorites. So these are all the blocks that you can have, and the best part about how you, you can utilize these on your website is that, let's say for example, I'm creating a new page, and I want to have the podcast subscription box. I run a podcast, let's say for example, I want to add this kind of block on my website. So I'll first open it up, and now it's open. Let's say I want to add this to my website. All I have to do is copy, go to the page and paste. And that's it. I've completely added this block pattern on my website. If, it, if I preview it, let me open the preview in a new tab. it's now completely embedded on my website. Of course, the podcast that is embedded is the default one. I'll have to replace the link with your own podcast or you'll replace it with your own podcast. And the best part is it's completely customizable. For example, if I select the block right here, you see the first block or the parent block is the cover block. It has an image in the background, which I can move around like this. It has all the customization options that Gutenberg or the block editor natively provides. 
And also, if you can see, the image block right here also has, a, I'd say, a color over overlay on it, which you can see right here. But let's say uh, the first example that I showed you is green color. I want to change this, right? So I still have the customization option right here. Let's say I will do just this. And now I have a brand new or beautiful looking page. Again, customized to my liking on my website. And everything is completely customizable. If I go into the list view, which is a new feature in WordPress 5.8, what I can do is I can hover over certain parts and I can see it's a little hard to see. I'll just uh, zoom in on the screen for a second. So you see this button is for Stitcher. This is for Spotify. Okay, so this is for Pocket Cast. This is for Spotify. Let's say I want to move uh, Spotify up the ladder. I'll just drag and drop and Spotify is now up on the list. Uh, if you don't see the drag and drop option or if you try to replicate the drag and drop option, you probably won't see it because it's not natively part of WordPress right now. It's part of the Gutenberg plugin which you have to install to get the latest feature from the Gutenberg or the Blogger. Again, we covered that kind of feature in uh, the WordPress update, so make sure you subscribe for that. And now you can see right now, if I go to the preview section once again, the Spotify button is now on top. So easy to customize, completely usable patterns that you can import on your website very quickly. And now with that, uh, I hope you understand how easy it is to use the pattern library, but there are a couple of interesting features that I wanna show you. So let's go back to the uh, podcast subscription box, the plugin or let's say the pattern that we just copied. You see the default width right here, right? So this is the default width that you have. Sometimes you'll have websites that are a little bit compressed. Sometimes you have websites that are, I'd say a little bit more wide. So you have the option of choosing any of the uh, widths that are natively supported with the pattern. For example, if I select the full option, you'll see this uh, pattern actually expands to become a little larger. So you can now embed it on your website. And that is not the only feature you have to customize the width. Let's say, for example, you want a really specific width that you want to have for this specific pattern. All you have to do is go to these little guys right here and just drag them. And can you see the width that you see right here actually adjusts or shows the exact uh, width that you are expanding the section on. So let's say, for example, you have a very specific requirement of you want uh, your pattern to be 1250 pixels in width. So you have to ex expand to 1250 and then you'll be able to just copy the block pattern and use on your website. So that was just an example of how customization is available in the pattern and block library or pattern uh, block library or block directory as well. And that's all you need to know about the block pattern library in WordPress, a brand new feature that lets you create beautiful looking pages quickly and easily in WordPress. If you learned something new today or you like this content, make sure to thumbs up button or the like button just below this video and also subscribe to our channel, hit that bell icon, receive notifications so that you can be updated about new features that come to WordPress every week, every Monday. And you are listening to and watching Yuvraj on the Brainstorm Force channel. I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and take care.